All right, everybody. Today I'm going to go over a very quick cover of what has happened since we last talked. Uh, I did find and get myself, as you can see here, I've got the ring capacitor there that I needed that was missing. 390 picofarad, if I remember right. I also did get a couple of bypass caps off of an old board that I did some, done some work on that didn't end up working, but those are basically going to work out for me. They're a little bit different from what the spec required. They are 10 microfarad that says 22, but for a guitar, 10 is going to be playing. This is obviously from a bass man, which is a bass amp. So I do believe these should be just fine. And this is the normal channel, not the modded one that's the more, you know, the important one, I think, from this build. Because this is most likely going to be uh, pretty close to stock, I believe, on the normal channel. So, uh, but I do have uh, all of this board completed. As you can see, I've got the wires soldered in so that when you place it in the chassis, it will be good to go. Uh, I also got transformers and a chassis. This is part of what the delay was. I had ordered a chassis through someone I've worked through before, and they've always done a great job. But I didn't know that they'd actually end up having to move shop in the middle of the whole thing. So that kind of delayed things for me by a bit. But, you know, no big deal. The chassis work itself turned out outstanding. Uh, I'll show you the chassis really quickly. Uh, typical kind of chassis where we've got the uh, cutout for the transformer. I also got an IEC cutout. I'm going to do that style uh, of connection instead of the uh, more old school fendery style. You know, something kind of like this guy. Where we'll place that. Sorry, I'll put that in frame. Place that inside of here. And then we'll, you know, have power plug for the computer style. Uh, and then... Um, with the board in there though, of course, this is about the biggest he can make, and this is a very spacious chassis. One thing you'll notice pretty quickly here is when I put this board in, this other side's off frame is butted pretty much against the edge. You can see there's almost no room in here. Uh, so where in the world is Carmen San Diego going to put that big board in there? Well, you know, he came up with the idea, actually, that he suggested I thought was kind of smart was, why not go to the old Fender style of a doghouse? So. Um, we'll have, I have the transformers now as well, so I can kind of set that up here and show you, you know, this will go here. Um, it's huge. I'm not going to try and shove it in, but that's the main power transformer. It's a ham that I got, a uh, big beefy monster and my output transformer will then go right about here. Uh, and then, uh, uh, I've got a choke. The nice thing is, is the choke actually technically, because this is going to be a doghouse outside that can go. Pretty much somewhere, you know, I don't know yet where, but maybe about here or somewhere in that range because then I will slide this whole thing a little bit off frame uh, that I will use the doghouse style. So this is going to end up going, you know, somewhere like this. Wires and stuff will be sorted, but then I have this cool doghouse that he built for it as well that will go over the top of it. Uh, this is all just quick, rough fit, nothing beautiful or perfect, but that is basically what we'll end up having uh, so that we can fit everything in this chassis and still use it the way I was planning it. So now I have all the tubes, I have the sockets, I have pretty much all the stuff. I can start actually putting this together. I'm sure I'll find a few things I've missed. But from here, after the cut, I'll come back and hopefully have some nice views of the chassis laid out with the, so the tubes in, you know, uh, tube uh, mount, the, not the tubes, but the sockets themselves mounted in. Uh, and I did order a new set of face plates for the first time on this amp. So I don't want to cut the front and back more yet until that arrives, but I will at least hopefully have a, uh, a comeback for you with uh, the transformers kind of mounted, figured out where they're going to go. I will probably have the board mounted in a way that it looks right, but not tight and perfect so that I can quickly pull it back out once I've got all the rest of the things so that I can start doing the final assembly once the face plates arrive. So uh, that's where I'm at now. And after the magic of internet editing, we will hopefully come back and show you how things are looking here in a bit. Uh, I made some progress on the chassis. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I've got done, but I made a big boo-boo and you can probably see it right here. I don't know how in my head I did this, but I put all the tube sockets the same side as the front panel stuff. So I'm going to have to put something to cover those up and then redrill all of my tubes over here. The other thing that's going to be a bit tight is I might not be able to put these two power tubes here because the output transformer I shifted that way a little bit. I don't know why I think I was thinking that, again that it was supposed to go here. So all layout failures on my part with a custom chassis. Um, so what I will have to do at this point is I potentially might have to just tighten up these power or the preamp tubes over here. I'd intentionally kind of gapped the a bit of distance between these tubes and the and the phase inverter because this is the normal channel phase inverter, etc. So I will likely potentially do much tighter preamp tubes along this side which will get my power tubes here kind of close to the uh, the output jack. But the cool thing I can show you is I did get my uh, face plates in. So let me try and get this to where it's visible. Uh, there's the face plate. I did do a little, a few little marks. I'm hoping to see if I can find a way to clean those up. Just minor scratches when I was prepping things like a ding-a-ling. But uh, I'm going to put a small power LED there. 
and I just have to keep my input jacks put in. And then on the back side, I've got the power, the fuse, the power switch, the impedance selector, and the speaker output. So uh, it is coming along. Uh, as I said, through the magic of the internet, you will see the progress I've made. So uh, I have everything else drilled, tapped, and ready to go to hook in the boards and whatnot. And I'm going to have the wires from the, this guy is going to be up on the top. But you can kind of ma imagine it'll be roughly like this. These wires that will come out from it are going to go through there. It'll be underneath, obviously. Uh, and they will come out and then connect up to the boards, different parts up through there. So uh, one of the things I actually have been debating and trying to decide is I might actually try to make a small um, terminal strip to connect things like the, for example, the, the choke right here only reaches till about here. And that's not going to be far enough to really kind of reach over to this board over in here. Uh, but that was the best place I had to really put the choke, etc. So, you know, I might put a small terminal strip somewhere around here that gives me a spot to run some of the wires that are coming off of the transformer uh, and the wires that come down from here out over to there so that there's a little bit of a kind of like a jumpering place to kind of make the connections easy to attach and detach if you need to make ever any changes to the board later. But, well, there we have it. Uh, progress is made, failures have been made, and we will adapt and move on. So... Please, if you like the progress of the video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Um, and I do apologize for the delaying, it's just the COVID madness. The chassis manufacturer was a bit delayed. I think I mentioned that earlier in, in an earlier video piece that I'm at the beginning of this. The uh, I also had to take a while to get the chassis before I ordered the face plates. Those then took a little bit to get here. Well, not too long, but it took a little bit to get them once I actually had the chassis. So this whole process has been delayed and I've also just been delayed myself with a lot going on with, with the coronavirus. So at any rate, everybody, cheers, thanks.